common Australian black-topped orange-winged butterfly. That tree's quite cool. He's an arsehole, like he's an arsehole. If it lands on my finger on camera, this will be the coolest interview ever. One went out to the bus stop in Edinburgh. Oh man, I'm an athlete. One went out in Ath an English Athletic, park. not. Here. One went out in a nightclub Shit. when I was 15. What am I doing? See, no problem at all for an athlete. One went out when I lied to my mom. I think the idea of a great song is just writing something, usually pretty simple, like harnessing a very simple idea and putting it simply um, to music and you know what I mean like and connecting with people I, I think people think songwriting is a real mystery at times but actually it's not it's it's really simple I started playing classical guitar when I was really little sort of um, every time you feel love in your heart um, sorry I probably look like a cat then just in an interview and then just distracted by a butterfly it's not yeah, it's, it's asking you a question. look at this guy if it lands on my finger on camera this will be the coolest interview ever talking of butterflies actually is it true that they only live for a day is that true i went out in the back streets of manchester uh, when i was you know 16 17 i, I quit school just because i wasn't doing anything and wasn't motivated to do it and just wanted to play music. Suddenly just kind of going on the road on your own and busking and staying in hostels and it's bizarre, you know, it's, it's weird and quite, quite confronting. But at the same time, it's very freeing as well. It's worked better. I think people have understood my music better with just a guitar and, and vocal on stage. I think you've got to make a decision as a musician um, why you're in it and what you want from it. You either choose creative control, um, you know, freedom to pick your own artwork and the songs that you put on the record and how you dress and how you shave your beard and all this kind of stuff, or you go the other route where, you know, it's, it's maybe easier in some ways, but I don't know, man. I, I just decided that I want to look back at my career and be proud of the stuff that I did, and, and that's the most important thing. Uh, I'd like to invite my very good friend, uh, Mr. Stu Larson, onto the stage. Can you give him a massive round of applause? This song is called Hearts on Fire, and uh, it's quite a romantic little song, and I actually uh, wrote it for Stu. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> so I, think, I think what uh, seems to affect people is the honesty, oh. you know, is, uh, is that thing that Life isn't just happy or just miserable. It's kind of a bit of both and a bit silly and a bit ridiculous as well. So um, I try and, I guess, get that across in my music as best as <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. I mean, I think, you know, everyone has their own road and, and way of doing things. I think busking for a lot of musicians would be ridiculous and a horrible idea. Um, I love it, man. I think, again, it, it kind of goes with that honesty. Uh, no smoke machines or bullshit around your music. It's just you on the street singing your songs, and if people want to listen, they can, and it's free, and there's no obligation, and if they don't, then I mean, go and grab a sandwich or whatever. And there's, you know what I mean? I think that's really nice. I think a lot of the songs come from just traveling around, meeting people, staying in hostels. It's easier, it's, it's pretty difficult to be so open. You know, as you're starting to write songs, I think you, you I think with singer-songwriter genre, it's, um, it's actually needed to be vulnerable and honest and open. I'm, I'm traveling with a guy called Stu Larson at the moment around, and Stu is very much about the journey um, and legitimately about that. And uh, it's, it's just a great force to have. I don't want to hold your hand, no. Constantly, because uh, it reminds you of actually what's brilliant about what we do, which is traveling around, meeting people, and, and playing music. Like, they're the three brilliant things. Not 
sort of the idea of fame or fortune or all these pots of gold that never actually you know materialise. So it's, yeah, it's it's a really good thing to remember. He's an asshole, like he's an asshole. But that side of his personality is good. So. <laughs> See? Just talking about somebody else. Hold out in my heart's on fire For you Where we got holes We got holes So we carry on Sounds bloody lovely <laughs> So it doesn't come in for a bit, I'll give you a nod And uh, feel free to clap along as well Just follow my leg, it's going to be thumping around for you So you just follow that Thank you so, so much for coming down Hopefully see you in April when I'm back It's funny, I think music. There are all these milestones that when you're 17 and just starting out you think, oh, you know, I'd love to play Glastonbury or I'd love to sign a record deal or, you know, all of these things. And actually when you do those things, if you're playing Glastonbury, Glastonbury, it's pissing and you're hungover, no one's listening and it's rubbish. Yeah, a pub in front of 30 people is life changing, you know what I mean? It's always, the things you think will, will blow your mind are generally pretty average and the uh, silliest, smallest moments with, I don't know, two or three people can, can actually be the, the, the turning points looking back. You know. Say we got holes in our hearts, yeah we got holes in our hearts, where we got holes, we got holes, but we carry on. They're finally on to me. Uh, I've been running for, for years. Anything to do with what, what's behind you? Or? Look, there's been a lot of things said about the pig child and my involvement, and I've just had, I can clarify, I've, I've nothing to do with, with the pig child. I, I, it's the first time I've seen it today. Here we got holes in our hearts. Here we got holes in our hearts. One more time and I'll leave you alone. <laughs> Say we got holes in our hearts. Yeah, we got holes in our lives. Yeah, we got holes. We got holes, but we carry on. You've been bloody wonderful. Thanks so, so much.